more I, I questioned and probed the matter, the more the excuses and conflicting explanations provided by these party guys failed to add up. I kept catching them on the lies while they kept spending the money, and I kept getting tip-offs. Tip-offs, for example, about their super yachts, their amazing Beverly Hills mansions, New York penthouses, their extraordinary purchases on the art market, gambling, clubbing, and their fleets of customized sports cars. Indeed, the antics of the producers of Wolf of Wall Street, together with their star friend Leo DiCaprio, made the characters in the movie look like amateur spenders by comparison. People on set told me that Joe would pay Leo 500,000 bucks a time to fly with him by private jet here to Vegas to play the tables. When the DOJ published its findings, DiCaprio found himself shamed into returning a Picasso Joe had bought him, as well as a stolen Oscar from Marlon Brando, amongst other gifts. Supermodel Miranda Kerr, who numbered among several highly glamorous girlfriends that the pudgy Joe was mysteriously able to collect, was also forced to hand back a bespoke set of diamond jewelry worth $8 million. Joe had presented them to her as a Valentine's Day gift when he took her on the inaugural cruise of his new super yacht in 2014. That was the equanimity which is now subject to a seizure battle by the DOJ and was bought for a quarter of a billion dollars with money stolen from the development money fund 1MDB. Thanks to the election result and the judgment of the Malaysian people, I think the game is now pretty much up over 1MDB. The former Prime Minister and his wife are yet to be arrested and the new government, as the new government reviews the evidence, but they've lost their passports and are under official, uh, under official investigation. Joe Lowe and his co-conspirators have been hiding, mainly in Macau, Shanghai and Hong Kong, ever since the story broke in 2015. But extradition negotiations are now underway. I find it sobering to reflect that probably none of this would have come out and Najib might still be robbing the poor of his nation if his young proxy had not been so ostentatious in the city of Las Vegas. Thank you for inviting me here to see where it all happened with my own eyes at last. <laughs>